Wait, well, he's just staring at me and just grinding his teeth. He said, I'll kill you. I'll stab you and then I'll kill you. I'm like, holy Jesus. James Whitey Bulger evaded authorities for nearly 20 years and was arguably one of the most famous outlaws in modern history. The subject of numerous books and films, Mr. Bulger was finally brought to justice in the summer of 2011 at the age of 81 and is currently serving two consecutive life terms plus five years for his crimes, which included extortion, racketeering and murder. Mystery still surrounds the true extent of Mr. Bulger's involvement with the Department of Justice and the FBI and now a new film titled Whitey, United States, America vs. James J. Bulger, aims to shed light on the murky relationship. The film debuts in theaters and VOD on June 27th, and joining me now are the film's director, Joe Berlinger, and Whitey Bulger's co-counsel, Hank Brennan. Thank you, gentlemen, very much for joining us t today. You, you must be very excited that yeah, this, this movie's yeah, coming out. Us. Yes, no, very exciting. Um, let me start with you, Joe. Uh, there's been many other attempts to sort of um, really get around, get one's arms around Whitey Bulger as a yeah. character. Uh, how did you approach this in a different way? Well, you know, for years I have been fascinated by the story, but never thought I had anything to add because there's a dozen books and other TV shows and a Johnny Depp movie coming out. But when it was finally determined that he was going to be brought to trial in Massachusetts uh, and, and a trial date was set, I thought, okay, here's an opportunity to separate the man from the myth because there has been so much mythologizing about the guy. And also, no one really has delved deeply into the corruption. You know, you know there's, a, there's a conventional narrative that all the corruption surrounding Bulger was, uh, you know, done by a rogue agent, John Connolly, who's sitting in prison in Florida. Um, actually, whose sentence was just vacated, but that's another... Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's another movie uh, that's for, that's for another, you. That's another story. But, the, you know, using the trial as a springboard to really dig into the responsibility of the federal government for allowing this guy to reign over a criminal empire for 25 years is really the focus of this movie. Okay, and, and Hank, what drew you into this? Uh, you, you, you were his uh, defense attorney. Well, usually reluctant to deal with the media, we realize that there is a great myth about Jim Bulger because most of the information that the press has reported about him, the source has been the federal government. And they've had such a strong incentive to cover up their liability over the decades. So when Joe approached us, we looked into Joe and we saw his history, we realized that he had a fearless approach to confronting the federal government. And it was important for the community and the public to know not the propaganda the government was trying to spit out over the last couple of decades that protect themselves, but to have an honest look at what actually uh, the involvement of the Department of Justice was in this whole saga. And very quickly, you, 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 you represented him. Did you, did you like him? Uh, we became very close. I mm. spent uh, okay. quite a bit of time with him. Okay, because he did, uh, he did uh, commit some uh, pr pretty atro atrocious crimes. Uh, which is a good point. I mean, I just want to make clear, as much as I uh, uh, you know, respect and, and like Hank, um, you know, the film is not an apology for, for, for yeah. Bulger. Bulger did some terrible things and deserves to be in prison, and as far as I'm concerned. So I, the film is not a, is, I'm not an advocate for James Whitey Bulger. You just wanted to I'm, shed a light I'm on an, it. I'm an advocate for the truth. Yeah. And, and, and were you aiming this movie at a younger audience, too, that maybe hadn't grown up hearing about his crimes? Uh, I, th I think the movie is aimed at anyone who really cares about the integrity of our institutions. Uh, you know, we, the government shouldn't be in the business of choosing who should live and who should die, which is precisely what happened in this case and in their zeal to bring down the Italian Mafia they allowed the Irish gangsters to run roughshod over the city of Boston and a lot of people got uh, caught in the crossfire and it shouldn't happen that way. It, sh it shouldn't happen that way. Thank you both very much Joe and Hank. We uh, really appreciate your time.